Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today we'll be having a look at two LG 32 QK500-C monitors. And there we go, here they are. So I'm gonna be doing a new editing setup for my studio. And I'm gonna tell you why I decided to grab these two monitors. As a spoiler, I was looking for something not very expensive. And this was the best option as far as price and quality goes. We're gonna go through all the specs. Let's go ahead and unbox these monitors and see what they got inside. As you can see, the boxes are pretty large. This is a 32 inch monitor, but I was super surprised when I grabbed one of them because the boxes are light and it's unbelievable because it's such a huge monitor, but still feels very light. This monitor has got a quad HD resolution and this is something I was looking for because if you plan to get 27 inch and up diagonal, I highly recommend to get a quad HD resolution because I've tried even a 27 inch monitor with the only full HD resolution and you can definitely see the huge pixels. And if you're planning to use it for video editing or for any kind of work that requires precision, you're really gonna notice those pixels and it won't be as good. So if you get in 27 inches and up, get a quad HD. If you get in something less than 27 inch diagonal, then you can stick with a full HD because you won't really notice much difference. But this particular monitor, it is a quad HD and it's a 32 inch diagonal. So yeah, as you can see, the package is very nice. You got some styrofoam to protect it from breaking. Then you got a monitor in some special protective silver bag to protect it from any scratching and it feels so light. I'm surprised like for this size monitor, it is very light and it's very slick. This is not a gaming monitor, but it still has 75 Hertz refresh rate, which is really good for the Quad HD. And you also get a nice aluminum stand. It is very stylish too. Then you also get a nice HDMI cable that fits the color of the monitor. And you also get in the power cable. And this power cord comes with an external power brick. So it's not included in the monitor because of its nice and slick design. So you're gonna have the power brick sitting somewhere underneath the desk. Check out this stylish aluminum base that comes with this monitor. It is very thin, so it's not gonna be taking much room on your desk and you can still put a lot of stuff underneath your monitor. And it's also made out of aluminum instead of just plastic cover with a steel base. So it is very nice. It gives it much more premium look for the price. It also has rubber pads on the bottom of the base, so it's not gonna slide on the desk. And this setup doesn't require any tools because it has a little thumb screw on the bottom, you can still use a screwdriver if you got one, but it also has that little ring, so you don't need any screwdriver. You can just use your fingers and get it pretty tight. So no tools required. This is very good. All right, moment of truth. There we go. Look at this beauty. I can't believe it actually less than $300 monitor. It has a 32 inch size. It has a quad HD resolution. It's got a 75 Hertz refresh rate. It's amazing. And it also has a pretty good color accuracy. So I'm really surprised that I got this monitor for the price and actually getting two of the monitors side by side is gonna give you 64 inches of display. As I have mentioned earlier, this power cable comes with an external power brick. The cable is pretty long, so you're gonna be able to reach it from pretty far away in case your power outlet is not somewhere nearby. In my case, the power outlet is right underneath the desk, so it fits perfect. And I don't even need such a long power cable, but it's all good. In case I need to move it out somewhere else, it's good. It's a pretty long cable. As far as ergonomic goes, unfortunately, there are some downsides because due to the price, it cannot be good all around. And one of the downsides is actually ergonomics. As you can see, it only has the tilt option. You cannot lift it up or down. You cannot rotate it. If you cannot articulate it, there is absolutely no other movement but just tilt up and down. So if you find that the monitor is too low, you will have to make some stand. But the good thing is it has the VESA mount. So if you have the articulated boom arm, you can put it on the VESA arm. And I'm gonna have another video about the VESA arm pretty soon. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss it. And this is one of the greatest thing I ever bought for my monitor because it is so comfortable and you can articulate the monitor in any direction. So, but anyway, this monitor only has the tilt option. As you can see, this monitor is very thin and especially the top part of the monitor is very thin and it looks very stylish. I like the white color of this monitor, it looks great and it actually fits pretty good in my interior. So this is a good combination of colors, it fits great. And let's go quickly through the specs. As I said, the size of this monitor is 32 inches. 
The resolution is Quad HD or 2560 by 1440. And this gives us the aspect ratios of 16 by 9, which is really popular. And most videos are 16 by 9. Even though 16 by 10 is getting more and more popular, but 16 by 9 is still the gold standard for any movies. So if you buy it for watching movies, it's going to be great. You're not going to get any black bars. And also having a basil free design is great for those who plan to buy it for video editing because you can put two monitors side by side and you're not going to get a huge bezel on each side. So you can get them really close together and almost have them as one single monitor. The brightness is standard. It's about 250 nits or 250 candle per square meter. This is standard for most monitors. So it will be good for interior in the office or in the room if you don't have any direct sunlight hitting this monitor. But most of the time you're not going to need it because nobody's going to play or watch a movie with the direct sunlight hidden the monitor so 250 is a standard and it will be pretty good the color depth is 1 billion colors and the color gamut is ntsc 72 percent which means it basically has a hundred percent srgb color gamut coverage which is really good the response times is 5 millisecond gtg so it is okay it's not very fast it's not very slow so it could be used for the gaming monitor with this response times very easily it also has a radian free sync this is a mate monitor. It has a surface treatment anti-glare 3H, which means if you get sunlight hitting this monitor, it's not going to reflect everything and it's still going to be visible. So this is good. The panel type is APS-C, which is going to give you a great viewing angle. And this monitor has a great viewing angle as well. 178 degrees horizontal and 178 degrees vertically. Another features that it has and one of the most important features why I bought this monitor it is a flicker save, which means it's going to be good for your eyes and you can be watching this monitor much longer than a regular monitor which flickers. And it also has a reader mode, which I believe it gives you less blue light emission, which also improves the readability and you can read from the monitor much longer and it's much safer for your eyes. So let's have a look at the ports. It's got two HDMI ports and the HDMI port supports 2560 by 1440 at 75 hertz refresh rate. It has one display port 1.2 and the display port max resolution is also 2560 by 1440 at 75 hertz. It also has one mini display port with the same max resolution and it also has a headphone out. The typical power consumption of this monitor is 46 watt, which is pretty decent for this size monitor. It's not too power hungry. It's not the best, but it's not the worst either. And they also supply you with some literature as always there is some warranty and also you get in the quick installation guide so you know how to connect everything properly so there we go this is how i got my new video editing setup it is very comfortable to use i can use one monitor for the program i can use the other monitor for the timeline and sources which is really good because it's such a huge monitor it is 32 inch diagonal everything is pretty large it's got a quad hd resolution so it has very good precision the pixels are pretty small and from a regular viewing distance you're not going to be able to see any pixels at all so it is very nice so yeah this is it guys i hope you guys like this unboxing video i just decided to share with you because i got these two new monitors and give you my ideas about these monitors in case you want to upgrade your video editing setup or if you just want to buy one for viewing movies it is great for the price i don't think you can beat it because you're getting all these perks and the price is really cheap it was less than 300 dollars when i bought it and i'm really happy with the purchase it looks very stylish on my desk it doesn't take too much room even having two 32 inch monitors on my desk and of course if you're new to the channel please click the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you don't miss new videos and if you find this video interesting and helpful give it a like if you have any questions about these monitors please leave them down in the comment section below i'll be happy to help you and this is it for today. I hope you have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.